All right, so let's talk about some of the adjustments we've made to deal with the current COVID-19 situation. When you arrive in the morning for your in-person lab sessions, you should be wearing your uniform, your powder blue shirt, with your navy blue pants and your boots. You should also have a properly fitting face mask. This is a surgical type face mask, which is preferred, but if you have an N95, that's slightly better. Homemade face masks are acceptable as well. Just make sure that they're thick enough to stop the movement of particles. Now, when you're wearing these, they should be properly fitted, meaning that the nose piece is cinched down and that there is a properly fitted seal between the mask and your face. You are required to wear these at all times on campus. Other items that you should bring with you, personal hand sanitizer, a pen, clipboard, all vital signs taking equipment that you purchased at the bookstore. So that should include your stethoscope, blood pressure cuff, pen light, and your CPR pocket mask. You should also bring any handouts that you were instructed to bring that day, perhaps a EMT skills packet or a simulations packet. We'll talk more about those later on. Now, when you arrive, you will be instructed to fill out a form that asks if you've been sick, if you feel well, and then we will also take your temperature. So we will document that, we will store it away in case we need it in the future, and then you will be assigned to likely one of four different classrooms. We are trying to keep our class sizes down to allow for social distancing, and therefore we have each class sectioned off into most likely four different classrooms. But depending on the class size, it could be as few as two classrooms. So in that classroom, you will have a EMT trainer and an instructor, either myself, your lead instructor, or one of our other many fantastic EMT instructors. And they will be leading you through the components that day. So at each station where there is a mannequin, there will also be disinfectant equipment. So spray bottles, wipes, hand sanitizer. That will be available at each and every station. Now it is everyone's responsibility to help clean. So after you are done performing your skills or your assessment, you must take the spray bottle and spray down the entire mannequin and make sure that you let it stand for at least 60 seconds to two minutes and then wipe it down clean before the next person can go and use it. We follow these procedures in line with the CDC recommendations in order to keep you safe and to keep our program running. Thank you.